guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today, uh, our topic is uh, Steel Machine Foundations. But before that, if you are first time in our channel, kindly support naman po and subscribe our uh, channel para mas marami pa tayong videos na may share in future. So, continue further. Uh, uh, I will give you some exam two example problem regarding uh, machine foundations. So, our first problem here is a, a foundation having dimensions of 8 feet by 10 feet by 13 feet. Then, calculate the number of sacks of cement needed for uh, 1 is to 2 is to 4 mixtures. By the way, guys, this 1 is to 2 is to 4 mixtures is a class A. Class A type mixtures. So, the requirement for this problem is how many number of sacks needed for making the concrete foundation knowing these dimensions. So, to solve this problem further, we need to calculate first the volume of the foundations. Just simply guys, uh, volume of foundation is a rectangular box type. So, we know the volume of the rectangular box. It's a length times width times height. So, the given is 8 feet times 10 feet times 13 feet. So, the volume of the foundation is equal to 1,040 cubic foot. Now, we need to convert this volume into cubic yards. So, for every 1 cubic yards of concrete, there will be 27 cubic foot. For every cubic yards of volume, uh, there will be 27 cubic foot. So, volume is equal to 38.52 cubic yards of concrete. Okay? So, to continue further, now for, by the way, we need to find how many sacks for this uh, foundation needed for mixing during uh, construction. But for every one cubic yard of concrete, it requires or it needs six sacks of cement. This is a standard uh, proportion for converting cubic yard of concrete into cement. So, for every one cubic yard of concrete, we need six sacks of cement. Therefore, number of sacks for making the concrete foundation for this particular problem is, is equal to six times. This six is from the from here above. Six sacks, okay? Six times the volume of concrete in cubic yard, which is equal to 38.52 cubic yards. So, the number of sacks required for making this uh, foundation is equal to 231.12 sacks or shall we say 232 sacks of cement. So, guys, as you can see in the problem, it's a very simple problem, you know. It's a simple problem only for uh, calculating the number of sacks of cement needed for uh, making these foundations. We have only given the dimension of the foundations. It's a, some, it's a matter of conversion only. See, for given the length, the width, and the height, or the depth. The width is 8 feet, the length is 10 feet, and the depth of the foundation beneath the ground is 13 feet so knowing the class A mixtures which is 1 is to 2 is to 4 meaning this one is one part of cement by the way guys how you interpret this mixtures proportion 1 is to 2 is to 4 meaning 1 is one part of cement and uh, this 2 is the 2 parts of sand and 4 is the uh, 4 parts of gravel so, for making this uh, foundation, we need uh, higher mixtures of gravel for better uh, higher strength. Okay, 1 is to 2 is to 4. So, this is the solution guys of how to compute or how to calculate number of sacks of the concrete foundations. Just uh, solve the foundation volume once you already uh, 
calculated the volume, then just convert this one into cubic yards because for every cubic yard, guys, of concrete, it needs uh, six sacks of cement. So you have to remember this uh, note or conve conversion factor because the requirement on the, this problem is uh, cement, sacks of cement. So one cubic yard, there will be uh, six sacks of cement. So as you can see further, the calculated number of sacks is around 232 sacks of cement. It's, it's a two much sacks, 232, because the size of the foundation is a little bit bigger. Since it is 8 feet width, 10 feet length, and 13 feet. So guys, this is only an example problem how to solve uh, foundation, concrete foundations. Okay. So the next problem, uh, second problem I will I want to share with you is this one. A machine foundation has a trapezoidal cross section. See guys, the shape of the foundation mentioned in this problem is a trapezoidal. So it's not a regular uh, re rectangle. It's not a square. It's something a trapezoidal where there are two sides and the height which is in uh, two different sides length trapezoidal cross section with base of see guys the dimension of the base it is uh, given here it was it's mentioned 2.4 meters and 3 meters and the height of the foundation and the height of the machine foundation is 1.5 meters and the foundation length is equal to 3.6 meters now calculate or solve the required cubic yards of sand to be used for me for one is to two is to four make sure see guys now the requirement of the second this problem is the how many sands cubic yard of sands before the the previous problem that i've shown you just now is uh in terms of number of sacks of cement now this second problems we are to, uh, looking for the how many cubic yard of sun is really needed to be used for mixing a concrete foundation uh, class a mixtures or one is to the four mixture standard okay so to solve this problem further now the solution is you need to find the area area of the foundation which is it's a trapezoidal as we studied before in solid insulations, the area of the trapezoidal is equal to one half of the sum of the b two of the bases times the height. Meaning to say, the basis of the foundation is b one plus b two. These are the two sides. Sum of two sides divided by two times the height. Okay, so area is equal to Substituting the values of B1 is equal to 2.4 meters and B2 is equal to 3 meters. Height is 1.5 meters divided by 2. So the area of the trapezoidal foundation is equal to 4.05 square meter since the unit are in terms of meter. So we need to be consistent for the units. So the unit is square meter. Okay. Next is, we need to find the volume of the foundations. Since we have already estimated the area of the foundation, which is equal to 4.05. Now, to find the volume, we need to times this one with its corresponding length. Okay, So, volume of the foundation is equal to area, which is 4.05 square meter times the length of the foundation given the problem, 3.6 meters. So that's why it's 3.6 meters shown here. So volume of the foundation is equal to 14.8 cubic meter. Now, since the requirement is volume of sun in terms of cubic yard, now for every cubic meter uh, cubic yard of sun or every cubic, cubic yard of concrete it needs 0.44 cubic yard of sun by the way guys 
the volume of 14.3 cubic meter is converted to cubic yard so it is equal to 19.05 you know already the conversion factor of uh, cubic meter to cubic yard you have to convert this one in cubic foot and then for every one yard there, uh, there is a three feet there will be three feet length one yard so just it's a matter of conversion only so it, these two values are the same equal but different units now for a for one cubic yard or every cubic yard of concrete it requires 0.44 cubic yard of sun therefore the volume of sun because the requirement is cubic yard so it's meaning volume of sun so it's equal to 0.44 just copy this conversion 0.44 times the volume which is in terms of cubic yard 19.05 so the volume of sun is equal to 8.382 cubic yards. So this is the final answer of this problem for me for construct for constructing the concrete foundations. You have to provide at least 8.38 cubic yards of sun for making this concrete foundation. So again guys, I hope you understand this uh, problem. It's a simple problem. But I am hoping that it will be helpful to those students who are studying engineering in colleges and some junior engineers who are practicing in the construction, especially for making concrete foundation for the genset or in, even in the power plant or industrial. So again, guys, uh, thank you for watching. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe our channel. Para mas marami pa tayong future videos na may si share. So again guys, thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye bye.